is our villa. Good morning. We're in Greece. We're doing a vlog weekend in my life. We have the busiest weekend ever happening. So nice. It's a beautiful day. Right now, I'm just like going to Zara, even though I go every day, but it's because they put new stuff in every single day. So we're going to see if we can find something to wear tonight. Like, it's just so good. It's so good. Nothing is better than European Zara. Okay, yeah, so stylish. Do they look too tight? No, I like... Good or... It's, it's a little bit short, I think. What do you think? I definitely think they're a little tight. Now we are in a race against time because it's 4.30. I have to be somewhere at 6. Have not started getting ready yet. I think I have a really good outfit idea in my head if it all works out. But... I'll get ready super duper fast. A mini haul of what I got. So at Mango, I got these cute little cargos. Denim cargos. I feel like I'll wear these all summer and they were only 30 euros. Zara, this is what I think I'm gonna wear tonight. I don't know if it's the vibe, but it's just cute little roughly mini dress. Open back, envisioning this with cowboy boots, maybe a leather jacket to make it a little more casual. And then this dress was on sale at Zara. So cute. Maybe this for Greek Easter. Because I feel like it just screams Easter vibes. And it's this nice, silky material. That was also on sale. And then I got this shirt. Just good to have as a nice staple date night vibes. And then this was only six euros, so I felt like I had to get it and it was nice and thick. I love just like a good tank top. And then the last thing I got was this because it's so soft and really cute. I think this was also like six euros. Just this plain white because you can never have enough. But now I have like literally 45 minutes and then I have to leave. So I'll see you when I'm all ready to go. Got ready, here's my outfit. We're just getting a quick dinner and drinks. This is like my favorite place ever. It's called Nalu. Say hi, guys. We are on our way. My favorite part of Greece is to go drinks. Welcome to everywhere. Yes. Where's the light? <laughs> Oh, you're not even focused. Good morning. Happy Friday. I picked out George's outfit today. Okay, do a spin. My hat, I'm kind of thinking, let me show my outfit. This is, okay, <laughs> the way that you're holding Well, this. I can't see the thing. This is my outfit today. I kind of feel like my outfit would be better with a hat, but I gave George my hat that matched because I felt like it looks better with his outfit. But we are going to this new breakfast place in my favorite little area. And it's the same owners as my actual favorite breakfast place, if you're following. So we're gonna check it out, see if it's good. Change of plans. We came to the place called Oven and it just wasn't really feeling like the vibe. It was dead silent and it would just, it just wasn't, it wasn't what I wanted right now. So now we're going to my actual favorite that I haven't even been to yet on this trip called Sophie's. So if you ever in Greece, it's in, is it in Vula? Vula Meni. Sophie, the best restaurant ever.
Okay, so we ate and it was literally amazing. Weekend. Okay, so far, the score of Bananagrams is winning. I got three, you got one, Billy cheated. I got none. You, you like yeah, yeah, no. You have got nine? Alright, 21. 21. Ready? Uh, v. These are good, Doug. Uh, I love. I see. Don't be asking. Yeah. Nobody asked for help anymore. It's over. Don't look at mom getting cold. Okay? Because <laughs> that's how you play. That's right. Oh, y'all. Yeah. Dude, so bad. Scene. And peel. GG's. Nobody wins all the time. Cause he, I don't know. What is A W George? Oh. It's A W. Going to dinner for B's birthday. It was supposed to be a surprise party, but she actually knows about it, so it's not really a surprise. And we are running a little late, so I guess it is good that she does. Know. Saturday, we're all dressed and ready. Apparently, we're going on a boat. Don't really know what the vibes are yet because I feel like it's a little cold. So I'm wearing sneakers, even though I don't know if that's the vibe. But the outfit's cute. I haven't eaten anything yet, so we're just gonna get some drinks, get some food, and just it's chill vibes. We'll keep you updated. <laughs> <laughs> okay the context to that was we had no idea where this boat was or where we were supposed to go so we just parked and then we figured out where we were supposed to go george left all of his bags alcohol that we just bought literally on the side of the street so tommy who is george's brother had to go run and get in he was like um you left your whole bag on the sidewalk and then also just for a little bit more context um i don't i didn't really explain i kind of just put clips of us on the boat so enjoy we were just on a boat in the middle of the sea Okay, we're taking the little boat to go see the wild rabbits. We have carrots. This is going to be interesting in our little boat. Also, B doesn't know how to swim. Hold it down, AP. <laughs> I'm scared. Where are they? Are they over there? More possibilities that they come. Okay. Will they come to us? When I am alone, they always come. When we are a lot of people, not a lot of people. Okay, we're leaving the Bunny Island. Apparently there's 150 bunnies little baby rabbits on here they were so cute there were so many at first they were very shy but then they were ready they wanted all the carrots they started fighting george gave up his carrots early so he's ready he's been ready we have been home we showered exhausted and sunburnt my eyes are 
like beet red from just being in the sun and being tired. And tomorrow is Greek Easter, so I'm making this like Easter bunny butt. I'll add a picture of what it's supposed to look like. So I have all the ingredients, but in Greece, so the mixture is a funfetti cake mixture, but obviously they don't have cake mixtures here. So I had to look up how to make a cake mixture. So I'm gonna have to do that. So we will see how it turns out, but basically it's kind of like a cheese cheesecake ball and it's it looks like an Easter bunny's butt and it's gonna come out really cute because I'm gonna be a Pinterest girly. Guys, it's Easter officially. It was midnight, it's midnight now, so they're doing fireworks. Oh. You hear the music? Shh, shh. You hear the church? Oh, now they're over here. You hear them, but I don't see them. Wow. Okay, it is the morning of Greek Easter. I'm gonna attempt to make this bunny butt bunny thing. George is at practice. I think the struggle is gonna be making this funfetti mix, but it should be good. So I guess we'll try to do that. I don't think George has any measuring cups. We may be making some progress. It says online that 500 grams of flour is equivalent to four cups. Do we think that's right? Because another thing is saying it's two cups. I would say this is probably about four cups, right? What do we think? But how am I gonna measure out? Should I just literally try my best to split it into fourths? Update, Google says that 16 tablespoons is worth one cup. So I guess that's that's what we're doing. We don't, we don't have another choice. Okay, here's the homemade funfetti mix. Honestly, I did such a good job like i think this really looks like it was a cake mix out of a box now i just have to do like the cream cheese assemble everything so we will be back okay we're just finishing our bunny it came out so cute i just have to add the little m m's but i think it really does look like the picture he's so cute my hands. Good job, Chef Lauren, on this episode of A Show Not Completed is Not Completed. The British Baking Show. That looks better, right? Good job. Ooh, so much better. We're playing Bananagrams. Show them my words. Mm -hmm. These are good. These are good. <laughs> I'm trying you. Okay. Okay. No. Show your outfit for Greek Easter. Okay. Log in Greek Easter. Bye. Beautiful people. Yes, recording. Beautiful vibes, beautiful people. Just having a great time celebrating Jesus. Christos and Esti. Billy and I are trying the lamb. Yeah. <laughs> For the first time. Okay, ready? Cheers. It's good. It just tastes like it tastes like pulled pork. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to do it. I show this side, you do the point side. I go, you say Christos and Esti, and then I go, I have Thos and Esti. Say it. Christos. Christos and Esti. Christos and Esti. I have Thos and Esti. No, hit it. Yeah! Yeah, you won. Thos and Esti are up here. But now we're both losers. It's a tie. It's a tie. It's a tie. Billy, when you go like this, of course you're going to win. It's a tie. 
Cristosa Nesti. Oh, Jordi broke me! The oldest goes first. Cristosa Nesti. Oh, Alitosa Nesti. Cristosa Nesti. Alitosa Nesti. Ah, uh, you got me. Okay, so now we flip it? Yeah. Cristosa Nesti. Alitosa Nesti. Well, jeez, <laughs> Lord. I won! Try. Oh, it's okay. Try what? Break it. You break it. Look. No matter how hard you squeeze it, you can't break it. Try. Is that it? Oh, yeah. Okay, go. Do it. And now you can't. Cristosa <laughs> Nesty. Alitosa Nesty. Oh, yeah, bitch. Turn that shit around. <laughs> like this? Now you say Cristosa Nesty. Cristosa Nesty. Alitosa Nesty. Wait.